Okay, those two last videos in that section do use this data over here, which is the average age of students or the age of students taking classes on the Cartersville campus at GHC. And um, you do have to enter that data. So typically what you do is under the column, they stand for C1, C2, C3 for the different columns. Then the first thing you do um, is label that column and then you can just enter and then you're going to have to enter those 50 pieces of data for this example so that's what you will do and that's how you will enter them and then let's just say you're doing the descriptive statistics on that second to the last video in that section uh, do keep in mind that the directions might look just a tiny bit different because we're using a different version of mini tab now but you'll just click stat basic stats display descriptive statistics and when you do it wants to know what statistics you want for that which variable so we only have one variable in there you said you had typed it in you don't have to type it in you can just either type c1 you can type ages comma years there or you can just the easiest thing to do is click on it and hit select or you can just double click on it and it pops it in the box there for you then I believe it directs you to go to statistics and pick the specific ones you want. Um, once you've done that, you click OK and OK, and then you'll see the descriptive statistics will be listed here for your 50 um, different ages.